uh, we'll see how that goes. But yes, I did. I did add children to the game. I do actually. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Noodle. Perfect timing, love. Literally, as we're starting. Good job. Uh, okay. We are playing more Final Fantasy 16. Hello to YouTube as well. We are gonna kill that fucking dragon. That's <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. But as part of that, we're gonna grab some equipment real quick. So we are gonna run back to the hideaway. We're going to buy that last elixir. I'm hoping we don't end up needing it, but basically we're just gonna fill up all of our all of our stuff. Right? Our potions, our elixirs, all of that crap. We're just gonna fill it all up because twice, man, twice uh, last night we were so way. damn close to killing that damn thing, if you're gonna buy some and then we to. just fucking choked basically. So none of that. We're gonna buy. Ooh, we don't actually have enough to buy everything. That's annoying. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Um. Okay. Well, let's get. All of the important stuff that first. That's <laughs> that's all our money. We're poor boys again. Uh, we can sell the enhancer plus two. Yeah. No, we don't need that now. I'm gonna keep all of the like special stuff, but we can. Eh. Do I want to though? Not really. Kind of want to sell like any of the actual stuff. We have any... Yeah, okay. <laughs> we have 1,423 of these. We can sell a bit of these. I think that'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think we need that many sharp fangs. I'll be thankful you got that much. Um, apparently, there's a sell all valuables. Is there, like, stuff that's just used for selling? Oh, yeah, like, gill bugs are, aren't they? Yeah, okay, so yeah, go ahead, sell all the valuable stuff. Yeah, that's 44 grand right there. Dope. There we go, that's, <laughs> that's all the money we should need. Okay, and now we can get the strength tonics, It'd better all be here. the stone skin tonics, find a better price than that. Screw it. By the Lionheart tonic. Blind, you know. Just gonna max out on everything. I don't think there's anything else we care about. You'll not find a better I mean, we gotta buy all that stuff eventually to get the again. platinum oh, if we decide to get the I'm platinum, so. Up. Grab that as well. Fuck it. Alright, and then... Where was the actual fight at? There it is. Okay. Travel to Obelisk, and what we're going to do, we're going to save real quick, that way, if we die, instead of just like restarting from checkpoint or whatever, we can just reload from save. And then we'll get all of our equipment back, because it's not like we're getting, oh, well that was incredibly dumb. Anyways, <laughs> it's not like we're getting any, uh experience or anything right now anyways Come on. so there's no reason not to just yeah reload from save if our saves right there or hell if we so if reload from save is an option what we should actually do now that i'm thinking about it is just save right outside of the encounter here that's what we'll actually do that's smarter not fighting anything. We're just killing this fucking dragon, dude. Thank God we picked up that two gill right there. What would we do without two whole gill? Like, if two gill was a monster drop or something, then whatever. Because, you know, can't really expect creatures to carry around that much cash on them. But... <laughs> As a reward, like picking up on the ground, man, it's kind of trash, to be honest. Save again. Oh. Well, whatever. We have <laughs> we have an extra save. That's fine. Last thing before I forget. All of our stuff. Is it set up right? Items. No. 
Okay, potion should be there. High potion should be there. Uh, stone skin can go there. Let's go. I'm really hoping we can beat the guy without having to use anything. But if we can't, then that's what we bought the ship for. Or, like, not having to use anything important, like the elixirs or last elixir especially. Because the last elixirs are expensive AF, dude. We did some upgrades as well, so that should be nice. Oh, god damn it. I'm already fucking up. It's fine. We're alive. Love when we can't see shit. I'm gonna post on Discord real quick, too, just to let everybody know. Because I keep getting yelled at for forgetting to do that. Um, hold on. Uh, I mean, you can't really see what's going on anyways. I was going to take a screenshot and post that, but nah. Nah. Hello, people. I am live and killing that freaking dragon one way or another. A-N-O-T-H-E. There we go. I am live now. Dope. Okay. Huh. Don't choke this time. <laughs> okay, Red Dawn. Red Dawn's fine. We've dealt with all of his attacks at this point. That, well, pretty sure we have at least. It's, a, it's possible there's a couple, like right at the end when he's like out of health that we haven't dealt with at all yet but we've dealt with most of his attacks at the very least at this point So far, so good. No hits. Would love to keep it that way. I don't see us doing a, a zero hit run of this dude, but it'd be dope as hell if we did, though. Ah, damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for opening my mouth. Nice, staggered, I like it. Could have went better. We've done like 50 grand to him before. So all in all, that was a pretty weak stagger, but Uh, damn it. Oh, shit, dude. That hurt. I forgot about the dive at the end of that. He's gonna follow that up with Red Dawn, yep. And then he's gonna do his lasers.
And then maybe a dive? Maybe not. No dive. Okay. Oh, shit. Right into Embroil, though. So far, so good, my guy. Oh god. We know what to do here. We've dealt with this a million times. This is nothing new for us. No dive, no dive. And Boreal? No embroil. <laughs> what you dancing to, Noodle? Cheering me on? Well, thanks, love. I appreciate your support. Boy, okay. Oh, no. Okay. We're fine, though. Need to remember to use the uh, stone skin. Actually, you know what? Use it now. Halfway there, we've used half of our regular potions. 100 bits? Holy shit, Noodle. Thank you, love. There's that 50,000 we were looking for. Well, I appreciate the spoilage. Thank you, love. It's the motivation we needed to finally kill this dude. Hopefully. <laughs> Ah. Diving? No diving. Yep, there. Okay, embroil. Aw, oh, bro, you kidding me? Bro, this is some bullshit. When you get caught in that stuff, man, you get caught in that stuff. All it cost us was a potion, though. We're fine. Or a couple potions, maybe. Oh. For some reason, I thought he was weakened. First Dryer story. <laughs> We're going to get it, dude. This is the one. Noodle gave us money. This has got to be the one. You gonna embroil? 
Oh shit. He switched it up on me, confused me. Oh, buddy, okay. Move around our gear. Our uh, items, rather. High potions to the top. Elixirs to the mid. Embroil? Oh, God, I can't see shit. Are you gonna... Okay. <laughs> it's like, I know that's an attack pattern. Uh, it's just a little early. You Gucci. We don't mind Blazing Legion. As long as we don't fuck it up. I'm gonna get in close before he starts doing fireballs and shit. Strength tonic. That was so slow, dude. Damage multiplier max. Fifty four thousand. I'll take it. Just Last dance, okay. I still don't know what the actual like last dance does. If that powers him up or something, like I don't like where we're at right now. Go uh, back. Oh, buddy. I'm going to try to do it without using elixirs or the last elixir that we went and purchased. We still have three high potions. We should be okay. As long as we don't fuck up, we should be fine. Case in point. <laughs> Did the game get quieter all of a sudden? Oh, my... <laughs> my hair or something must have turned down the thing just a tiny bit. Oh, okay, well, we're out of stone skin tonic, so we might as well equip strength. Our limit gauge is fine. We don't need Lionheart. Good placement right now. gonna embroil now he's doing fireballs though Jesus okay that went longer than expected oh buddy so the attack patterns do seem to change a little bit as time goes on which I mean makes sense right you would expect them to 
Uh, not that one. This one for the health. Doesn't do that much damage anyways. This is like where we died last time, basically. Get wrecked, dick. <laughs> First try today. <laughs> we did try a couple times last night. Oh, man. Still had a couple high potions left. Never used the last elixir or any elixir. G G, Mr. Dragon, sir. You were a good foe while you lasted. So we got another Orc Halcom. So that must be used for like multiple things or something. Because the thing that we have unlocked only has one. That's a valuable just to sell. Okay. And that, apparently. And all of it just to sell. Oh, boy. G G, full health, two high potions left. Bruh, we were good. We were fine. There was nothing to worry about there. Didn't need that last elixir, none of that shit. Now I guess we can just go to North Reach and uh, <laughs> do the story. Hello! I just destroyed a dragon for you guys. Hope you don't mind. Like, <laughs> You could say thanks or something if you want. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, you know, stop from coming here and trying to murder you guys. Then a wall won't stop them. Is there a chest hidden over there? Hey, there is. What kind of useless junk do we get today? Black blood. That's money. Yeah, whatever. Um, where's the actual quest at? Oh, it's probably going to be the brothel runner, right? That makes the most sense. I feel like whatever the hell she's going to have us do is kind of uh, lame in comparison to what we just did. <laughs> Lord, lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. <sighs> Are they fallen? Ah, uh, okay. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Not we'll a damn thing, I'm there. guessing. Visit the garrison. Last I checked, I wasn't welcome in the garrison, so... <laughs> I'm sure they can deal with these problems themselves. The two soldiers were carrying an arrow. Hello, Dame. Madame, please. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. 
She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. You really want us to lose them? But like, what's well? the alternative, you know? If you don't go and fight, like she said. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. If you don't fight, everybody's gonna die. Like either way, you're kind of fucked, dude. I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And she says after we've taken all those detours, killed a dragon, a couple effort, other hunts, you know. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. W, by the, the way, the way the what? survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. I'm very confused. <laughs> You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. Okay, there's things. I mean, we kind of know that already. I don't <laughs> know how talking to these guys is helping us at all. How about you? You gonna tell us the same shit? Hey, there's things out there. They're killing people. Did no, really? Had no idea. Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just probably not all right. He's probably dead. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but uh... We should head for more. Can we... Jump the wall here? No. We can't over here, though. Or not jump it, but exit. So I wonder. There what? Okay, hold on. Come here, Chocobo. Come on. Because at this little, like, castle thing over here, that's where we found, like, some actually useful equipment before. So I just wonder if there's like anything useful over there again, because it seems like the chests do respawn sometimes. Probably not, but it's worth taking a quick look, right? Okay. Up to the tower. Are those goblins? Man, there's like goblins everywhere these days, aren't there? So there was a chest. 
somewhere up here before. Safe to light an incense? No, probably not, to be honest. Not unless you find somewhere else to put that thing or block up the child. <laughs> Uh, okay, well. It's not you, the big one. Oh, damn you. I'm tanking it. I don't care. Yeah, no. <laughs> I <laughs> I wish I could say something different, love, but yeah, no. With how much she's been getting up there, the cat would definitely knock the incense over. <laughs> I mean, so far, she's, like, been smart enough to leave it alone. Damn, you dude. You're annoying. Just die already. This one. No chests. Oh well, it was worth checking real quick. An experience and stuff is always nice, I guess. What is that thing? Carrying around like is that a boulder or something? Is that a giant shield? Kashik Bombardier. Oh, no, I think we'll just leave you alone. <laughs> I mean, could you just have it like on one side of the coffee table and then just fold clothes on the other side of it? You know, cause the coffee table, I mean, it's not like super long or anything, but it should be long enough for you to do both, right? You just have to be careful not to knock it over or anything. And we don't let her on the coffee table normally, so it's good to, you know, just keep up that. Just keep coming. Wait, what? You dick. How did you dodge that? He must have like teleported right as I was using that. Okay. Apparently we can't block that. <laughs> I was just curious how high we could fly with that. We can 
block piece, right? Yeah, it's probably not the final one, though. Yeah, not the final one. <laughs> I thought he was done. He was not done. Ow, my face is so good. My ear itches, dude. Probably from being wet. From just getting my shower. Ah, that's gonna hurt. I'm not on the right thing. I just used a high potion. Whatever. It's fine. GG, Mr. Lich. Five magic dash. That might you come in handy for more? something. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. I'm assuming we're going to get sent somewhere else, right? Because Martha sent us like five different places. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. Wait, is that really it? Okay, well, this one was a hell of a lot easier than Martha's then, dude. Isn't that right? Basically Captain. didn't do shit for her. Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Bruh. <laughs> really trying to get in her pants right now. If you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. So they got history, or did he just like admit his love for her out of nowhere? <laughs> and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. I mean, I guess, even though they are kind of shit, this area does have their own proper military, whereas, you know, Martha's Arrest didn't. Just hired swords and, uh, what's so left of the Red Shield. Alright, now we go here. But there was somewhere here we're supposed to go for a hunt. Problem is, I don't remember where, but I'm pretty sure we had taken a screenshot. Uh, did we not? How do you look at screenshots? I'm assuming just official news, videos. Is there not a way to just like see shit from here? God, this is loud as fuck. Um, media. TV and video? No. Bruh. How do you... How do you see your screenshots? I never fucking use screenshots and shit. Music. Game base? Game base. No. New video clip? Aha, here we go. So that's Rosaria. There it is. Vamer Dalmechia, okay. Mechia, Vamer Dalmechia. Uh, back to game. 
Want me to make a blue slushy now, and then when the other container is clean, you can make a peach one? It might be good with the Shmirnoff. Mm. After it's blended? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, after it's blended. Because we don't want it to be like the pineapple. I made a pineapple slushy. Uh, I don't even remember. It was a while back. But the alcohol stopped it from freezing so much that there just ended up being chunks in it, and Noodle does not do well with chunks. Balmer and Dalmechia. It's probably in that section we've never explored. There. So I'm not seeing a Valmare anywhere else. Or just anywhere, rather. Okay, it's still blocked off there from that end, annoyingly. Oh wait, no, right there. Vomare. Okay, it's like a little town. So we want to go here. And then just run all the way over to the other side. But yeah, blue slushy sounds nice, love. You lost, stranger. Wherever you headed, it's back to me. It's weird that there's still like so much of the map closed off, you know? Like, there's that, there's that, there's whatever the hell the final sting is, this one here, like, you would think with how close we are to the end of the game, everything would be opened up by now. Is it possible to go up there where all that stuff is? Maybe. I can't tell by looking at the map, but I don't think so. Wait, is that a... That's a teleportation crystal. So that shit must be here. The other blocked off area. Hmm, okay. Hello, Coral. Going down a lot easier than I expected, not gonna lie. Not mad about it, just surprised. Aw, oh, damn it. Too late. Keep them in a perpetual sto state of uh, fucking stagger, that would be great. No chests or anything around here? No. Remember Chocobo at one point said something about there being a uh, chest near Coral or thinking there was one near Coral? But I imagine there's more than one of them things out and about. Just chilling in the world.
There we go. Hello, friend. Just one of you? Well, that shouldn't be anything then. We basically just fought three of you last night. Can't imagine one of you being all that bad. Oh damn. My timing was off a little bit. Oop. Thought I could half stagger him before he got that off. We don't have any. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Forgot we were out of potions, bro. <laughs> we're so close to fucking dying. I really don't want to die because I don't want to use our freaking last elixir. That thing's 20 grand. Not that we can't afford it, but still. Nate, what's up, dude? You missed the, the dragon dying, man. That was a sick-ass fight, not gonna lie. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. There was multiple swings to that. He already broke through it. We're so fucked. Is that it? really just needs to die what oh god holy shit dude we're still alive oh no 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 i don't know how we're still standing We're dead. We're dead. We're so fucking dead. Oh god. Okay. Oh, holy shit balls, dude. Strength on it. Yeah. 
anything, dude. Just anything. Please. That should stagger. We're good. Holy shit, that was close, dude. <laughs> I really just didn't want to use that last elixir. Oh my god. I wish there was some way we could, like, turn the last elixir off. Only save it for, like, big fights, you know? I don't think there's any way we can. Granted, I haven't really looked at it either. No, just upon KO, automatically restore all HP, yeah. Fills limit and increase attack power by 10%. Holy shit! Wait, use? That's weird. That it even shows up that way. We could just use an elixir, but that's 10 grand even, so, like, I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And now we're doing story shit anyways. We can buy a potion or two while we're in town. Kind of wish we had some of that slush available now, Noodle. Slush actually sounds really good. A slushy? Not that I really need the sugar. I did just have ice cream. Noodle and I had our little cookout today. It was fantastic. Um, we just had hot dogs, Fucking pierogies, vegetables, and I ate some cantaloupe. And then we had a uh, little ice cream date afterwards. It was really nice. Went for a little walk while we were out. Hence why I'm a little bit late today. If I had my pickaxe, I would. You wouldn't have done oh nothing. Don't lie. At least the bath's still work. working. God. After everything we did keeping that place running, it would suck if it got shut down, man. <laughs> now that everybody's, you know, anything being I murdered left and right. Uh, three potions should be more than enough to get us choice. by. Do I have... I still have the Cleric's Medallion on, right? Yeah, okay. want to make sure we didn't, like, forget and swap to the High Cleric's Medallion at some point or something. Mummy... Yeah, this place really has seen better times, hasn't it? Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although... You're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. My bad, dude. Any I was busy killing went. dragons and shit. The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. Which and one? This the rate, it won't be Dalimil the always seems to be having little problems. Be our undoing, it will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Cool. We get to talk to people. I'm a politician now. Shouting. That's like my own personal hell. <laughs> the idea of being a politician. Fuck that. I said we just solve it with fisticuffs. You talk like that if it had been your men Each of you put to put forward a for champion. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits. Whichever one walks away as a lesson to the rest. gets their side. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. 
any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. I mean, we could just solve the bandit problem for you Victor. for a lot less coin than other people would probably charge. What's he doing here? And then the lady can buy some food and supplies for the town. Problem solved. Sid and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I don't remember who Victor is. The same thing. He Cost looks familiar, but chaos. other than that. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. No suggestions or anything? <laughs> like, apparently you've been here negotiating with these people for a while. You could maybe give us some hints on how to help. Uh, fucking thieving. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Let me kill him. I'll kill everybody. Oh. Fix things real quick. My namesake. He'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. Oh god, are we going to be the that bandits? Useful. You know, in the time we pull oh, off this worry. little scheme, Victor I could I probably just deal the with the talking. bandits myself. And you need only play just along. saying. Play along. What he means to say is yes. Picture it, Conrad. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. 
that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Wow, what's that supposed to mean? Then let us band together and show these I think we could have done a wonderful job with it. Clive seems like an excellent actor, man. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may yet be allowed to keep it. Yes, but... Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Jesus uh, Christ. Lord Underhill, at your service. Underhill? I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices higher than Jesus Christ, Clive! Afford. After I just stuck up it for you, man! Come on! The peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. <laughs> I'm tired, food, man. I'm always weapons, fucking tired. Herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. Yay! But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Should just had you do both, man. Returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy, I'm scared. How many times are you gonna say that, little kid? Oh, I'm ruined. It's not gonna Good change anything. No matter how many Sid. times you tell your mom you're scared, Both dude. Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. Oh, good. All of them. You're that just means serious. we can deal with them. They don't just want food. Nice and quick. The whole damn town. Should have just done this from the start. Would have been over already. I have a favor to ask. 
I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put Some parts of this game are so fucking slow, <laughs> dude. Jesus Christ. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Was Victor that leather worker? Maybe that's who Victor was. So he looks familiar, but I do not remember where we've seen him before. <laughs> the women folk have come to welcome us. I'll take that one. <laughs> No worries, Joe. I think we got this, dude. Should have gone in the middle a little bit more. When's the big ones gonna come out? I know there's big ones around here somewhere. There's one. hitting me. Oh, there's a dude right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you bastard. Fine. Fuck it. We'll use another potion. I'm trying to avoid it. Damn, I cannot read you, dude. Oh, that blows up. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> We've dealt with a dude like this before. He was a hunt, actually. Mr. Salton, sir. You tried, you failed, but you did make me use a couple potions, so that's something, I suppose. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Get back. Everybody's dead. Town's just empty now. Claim it for our own. Hideaway 2.0. Honestly, though, we've proven that we can single-handedly do things entire nations' armies can't do, or towns' Natalie, armies, at least, can't I do. You like, an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. 
You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. We probably don't need to hide with the hideaway anymore. A change of heart? I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. God damn it. <laughs> the plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, problem solved. Now what? We've gotten a lot of renown, though, between the hunts and everything. Maybe something needs unlocked? Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. <laughs> Hello, boy. Wonder what good old Otto's up to. Any fires at home? Let's check our chambers real quick. So we have collected some stuff. Now that we've caught up on all of our hunts, is there anything Blackthorn can do for us? I don't think so. I think there's still stuff we need. There's nothing new here. Nothing new here. Travelers bands. Have we made one of them? No. <laughs> Don't see any reason to either, but there's arm claws. I'll These are like special things, aren't they? Because it uses like earthen fury and stuff like that. I think the white stuff is, or the white stuff, the blue ingredients are like one-off things. Anyways, no, we still need stained loincloth and marble flower, same as before. Okay. <laughs> and oh well, worth checking, I guess. Bears the rest, whatever. Flames burn bright. You're welcome. Northreach is doing well. <laughs> Should the weight ever become too much, you needn't stand alone. Our hearts and arms remain ever open, as do the veil's doors. <laughs> if you need a whore, we're here to help. Garden Leo put aside their differences. Uh, okay. Everybody's doing well? That's good. Glad to hear it. What stuff have we unlocked? Not much. A guardian's scarf? Died red for the flame. Oh, that's... Uh, da, 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 da. What's our brother's name? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Sir Wade. Pledge on these... Oh, that's Sir Wade's. Okay, I was thinking it was our brother's. It's Goblet, Martell Apples, Ambrosia's Tack, and the Oath. I wonder how we're still missing so many of them. Like, we've done every side quest and shit. You would think we would have collected all of them. Wait. Can we not go down from here? Bruh. <laughs> What's the point of this balcony? <laughs> We really got to be that extra. Space is at a premium here, you know. Did you see what do we need a whole ass bounty, bounty, balcony to ourselves for?
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wouldn't expect anything new on the hunt board yet. Not until we at least complete this main mission that we're on. How may I help you today, Clive? Well, Come we to should have a new reward or two. Ability points, bloody hide, sharp thing, and steel yours. silk. Always nice. You found purpose. No risk, no reward. Orchestron roll in amber. Here you are. What is amber? Is that just a sellable thing? Talisman of priming? I'm assuming that just like charges our limit gauge quicker. Come again. Come again. Sounds neat though. Uh, no key items. Amber, 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 amber. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's just yeah, valuable. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's money. We'll always take money. Was wondering when you turn up. Had our small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? That's an excellent well, question, suppose. honestly, Otto. <laughs> I would like to know that myself. Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Hey! Says your brother's awake. Our brother, you, Joshua, think. that's his name. I could not fucking remember, dude. I knew it started with a J, but I just kept thinking Joseph, and I was like, that's not fucking it, dude. What the hell is his name? Joshua. It's Joshua. So it was not Sylvester, but. Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet, and when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. <laughs> Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner. Warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Yes, please. <laughs> Explain. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts, Nobody does. 18 years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Mm-hmm. Nigh That's obvious. Power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. 
If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. <laughs> With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. I mean, not just you, probably the whole world, man. Honestly, like... If Ultima were to get a hold of Clive, I'm pretty sure everything would be fucked. Joshua! Clive! It's Gav! There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Off to Canver, then, I guess. <laughs> Screw our brother, he was just coughing up blood over there. <laughs> just... I mean, not that we can really just let uh, Canver mid told you. our uncle <laughs> is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question. Jesus for Christ, man. Vivian, really? Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua. Bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. Brothers together at last. How sweet. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a side quest now. <laughs> they never end. They never end. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's still cute. What about your adventures, Nectar? Did I ever tell you about the time I flew all the way to the bottom of the basin? What did you find down there? A deeper understanding, Gubu. <laughs> From the outside, it seems so mysterious. Where does all the water go to? Why does it never fill up? And what's behind the waterfalls? Those were the questions I flew to find the answers to, Koopa, but instead I found out something about myself. I can't swim, Jesus Christ, dude. Kupo and Nectar, I love you, but God damn it, I want to know the answer myself. Where the hell does all the water go, man? It's got to go somewhere. The pack. South of Tabor, Domekia. Oh. How handy. Okay. All right, collect all these damn side quests, and then... I am going to stand up, stretch, probably get a drink. Not that I'm particularly hungry, but maybe a quick snack just to help myself wake up a little bit. 
It's all right. I think he's cute. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will it's always a storm coming. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. Sure. I try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. So My someone took them. That they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared, which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Okay. A visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. I mean... Okay. Do we... Do we really need this right now, dude? Is there not more pressing matters to attend to? Visit. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. What subject shall we consider today? How high can his thing go? His like level or whatever. The otherworldly, uh, the otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil. Automa requires a vessel. And Clive's curious ability to absorb the powers of other icons suggests that he is the very mythos that Automa has long awaited. He wills Clive to absorb the other icons, that his vessel might be perfected. So if we just refuse to absorb them out all, would he be screwed? Like The door to the shelves shall ever be open. But if we just don't absorb him, his quote unquote vessel would never be perfect, right? Then we wouldn't have to worry about it. You put me in this situation, Clyde. I mean, he'd keep Let being a dick in the meantime, I guess, unless we figure out how to kill him. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing, thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember all anybody ever wants. Stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Yvonne had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. Jesus Christ, lady, really? This is what we I've need to be doing? To play favorites, Molly. Again, like. I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of skyworm. Yummy. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out skyworm livers and drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Yvonne said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Wow. That's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Fuck. You know <laughs> I just came point? from him. Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Well, we're going to go talk to the children and shit first, because we're going to have to go back there anyways, I presume. To talk to the school teacher, the tutor. What's up, Goots? What am I going to do? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. That's one way to put it. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like... 
Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but... But she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but... Well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why us, dude? I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Now we gotta talk to Karen. Alright, so children and then just loop back around, I suppose. Alright, before we do that though, actually, I'm gonna get my drink <laughs> and stretch. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment, guys. Calm the hell down, lady. Ain't nobody gonna die yet. Oh, they broke the scale. So well, that's pretty obvious. Anyways, <laughs> we'll deal with them breaking that shit when we get back. <laughs> BRB. Into that. I want to make it so children age up very, very quickly, essentially. Uh, tweaks galore, just because a bunch of cool stuff with that, and that's that's about it. That's about it. Um, who lived? Stream all the steam and Mr. Noodle. Everyone else died. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. So that's that. That's that's kind of out of the way. I just kind of wanted to explain what we're doing. Um, but yeah, shall we get into the game? I think, I think maybe we should get into the game and then we'll just, uh, kind of go from there. I do need to make that one change real quick before I forget though. I got a new mouse, so it's going to take me a minute to get used to the mouse. Uh, we need the children, children's school and learning, uh, not disable child age. Wait, age of generated children. Okay. So they can be, <laughs> they are born at... 14, I guess. I, I don't know at what age people can start doing stuff in the game. Um, so we'll just leave it on the default of 14 for now. Minimum age to learn at school. Max age to learn at school. 16. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, if they if they start at 14, that means there's only two years of them being in a school. So that that that'll work. That'll work, I think. Turns out that the creator of the mod had a decent idea, you know? They they, <laughs> they play tested their own mod and, and did decent things with it. Uh, we're most definitely going to have to move around some UI elements too. Because, you know, first time streaming the game and things like that. Things are definitely going to not be in proper places. So, shout at me if anything is in the way. And we will, we will fix it. We'll move it. In fact, I already know that chat is going to be in a bad spot. I actually don't know if there is a good spot for chat, to be completely honest with you. Um, there's really not. <laughs> uh, I like having chat on screen, but we might have to de define food. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ice cream, Rue. Ice cream is a good depression food. It's not good for you per se, but it tastes wonderful. Uh, oh, there is one other thing, too, before we get started. We're going to get started real soon, I promise. There is one other thing, though. You guys were so awesome, uh, exceeding that goal massively. But uh, the other thing, what I want to do going forward, right? And I've, I've thought about this for a while on how I want to slowly ramp up the amount of streaming and whatnot that, that we do. Um, so we started with, with 10 subs. You guys didn't uh necessarily know that but that's that was the thing in my head if we if we exceeded 10 subs we would add another stream but we had already exceeded that so whatever so my plan is we're going to double that and then add it to the last one so we need a 10 so then now we need 20 plus the 10 to 30. so if we somehow get to 30 subs we will add more streaming and then we'll just keep ramping it up until eventually we're like full time if we ever get there if not then whatever so our goal now is to get to 30 subs, man. Um, someday. No rush. I don't want anyone, like, donating a massive amount of subs or anything like that. Because I am going to have the stipulation that it has to be, like, two months in a row to make it work. Uh, or just two months in general, I guess. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a row. Anyways, you get the point. I don't want anyone, like, being crazy and just being like, here's 30 subs I'm donating. Like, I want it to grow naturally over time. 
obviously I very much appreciate whenever people donate the subs, but yeah, don't don't do anything crazy, guys. <laughs> but uh we are going to more new new streams, more streams and new streams, new new and I, I don't know how to put this. More streams with more variety? No, I don't like the way that looks up. Just more streams. We're just going to put more streams for now. I don't know. Uh, and we're going to do total subs. And our goal is 30. Apparently, I already typed that in. Oh, that's actually the recommended goal from Twitch. Well, that, that works out. Anyways. <laughs> so there we go. We got that all. Strems. Wait, did I mistype it? Okay, no, I didn't, I didn't mistype it. You had me confused there for a second. Okay, now with that, let's actually get into it. Um, this is going to go here somewhere. It's going to cover up some stuff, like, no matter where I put it is the, the annoying part. But I guess I can't really do much about that. Where's my little dude at? I mean, I see the little dude, but... Twitch chat, full screen cap, background. I don't. Oh, it's there. There, it's the pop-ups. I'm an idiot. There we go. And we want that like just right in the corner. We'll put that like there, and then we'll put this like right underneath it. I guess. I don't know. We're probably gonna have to move it, but that's fine. Let's just get into it now, shall we? New colony, man. Let's freaking go. We're gonna start with the regular crash landed. Uh. Because, I don't know, it's the, the normal starts. So we're going to hit next on that. We're going to go Phoebe Chillax because I do want this to be a little bit more about, like, the base building and things. But I still want us to be able to die. <laughs> so, we're going to start on Community Builder, I think. But we may take it up to Adventure Story just so we get some of the, the bigger events and things. Um, we, we also have like a lot of new scenarios and things in place that i i don't know anything about i don't know how bad they can get uh so yeah i want to do eventually some of the more difficult stuff just so we get more of that we do have all these extra ai storytellers too that i downloaded but they sound crazy so we're not gonna mess with that right now nay it's only like 360 bucks to donate 30 for two months yeah see i don't i'm i i appreciate the thought but like bro Hello. Oh, no. All the chat was cleared. Why was the chat cleared? That's annoying. Anyways, whatever. Fine. Come tax time. I will do it like 10 gifts for four months. <laughs> I mean, like I said in the clip there, I really appreciate anybody that does gift subs. Don't get me wrong. But it's wholly unnecessary, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. Little bit of moving, got the blood pumping a little bit. Sit. I'm awake for a minute. I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No, of course it isn't. Well, not anymore. It's not. Hey, hey yourself. And just how long hasn't it been one? Ah, oh, I forgot right. about the cashews. But oh we well. We break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol. Nah, it's okay, she love. Dismembering her creations. Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. A ninja near? Yes, Mididol said. The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well, then your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh. About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Then. Uh huh. Then. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Wait, do I get a. <laughs> is it a puzzle? Do I get to put it back together? All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. 
Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Hey! Uh, okay, inspect the arm. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. Bruh, y'all tore it apart. Track. How do you not remember how to put it back together? There's three parts here. <laughs> like, I know you're just kids, but god damn. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. When did we become a school teacher, dude? This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minidol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. You know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middle's hairs. Her oh hairs. God, <laughs> yeah. These children are idiots. The future. She's showing us her secrets now so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Middle and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. We never put the gear back on it, or the cogwheel. Hey, look! We never used the cogwheel! Oh, you okay. Sid forgot about it. Do you? Did we leave it there so they could figure it out on their own? Learning experience? Maybe, maybe. Okay, so speak with Shirley. Sure, in a moment. Uh, Karen, and then oh, Harpocrates. And, yeah, whatever. Just basically talk to everyone. <laughs> I heard the Emperor was impaled on his tongue. And then probably go kill something. Are there? No, okay, we're not even allowed to go anywhere right now. Well, wait, how are we supposed to kill? 
whatever for food if we're not allowed to go anywhere. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then? Both in and out of the hideaway? Just be direct with her. She's going to see right through you. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. But I'm pretty sure my power just flickered. <laughs> All right. But everything seems okay. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. For some reason, I don't think you're all that poor, my guy. <laughs> Old, sure. Poor? Hmm. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Then why trouble me with it? Why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <laughs> I suppose oh, it is. Why do we get dragged into this shit? <laughs> okay, so I guess me and Goots are going to Dalamo here shortly. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be thunder? Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as I thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. Heirs, actually. Her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She hasn't she spent any in a while. Her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. 
In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. Mm, okay. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Cool. I'm glad to learn a little bit more about Mid. Did we <laughs> need to do all that to do it, though? Probably not. Hello, Hippocrates. Do you know of these old-ass foods? I've come to pick your brain, if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage. A classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find skyworm livers and drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Yes. How very Sambraqua. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's Bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Okay. So Northreach for Wyvern and Saint's Bonnet. But I don't think we can travel anywhere yet. Yeah, no. Probably just have to stop here and then once we... Why was there a quest thingy? A little side quest triangle on the hideaway. Do we not collect them all already? Or finish them all already? Either or. Now that we've stopped here, we can probably uh, go everywhere. <laughs> nice. Bad blood? Okay, so that's a new quest. That's the eye for an eye one. We could run over there and do that real quick. Shop. That's new. Uh, what is here that I missed? Oh, at the reading table. I always forget about the reading table. Uh, um, no, I mean, might as well do the shit that's here first. Two dollar mill to deal with this merchant. Wonder if Goots will automatically join us? Or do we still have Joshua and Jill? 
No, we still have Joshua and Jill. So he's probably just here somewhere then. The bandits maybe know. Surprised they haven't cleaned up the place a little bit more. I don't know how long it's been since, you know, last time we were here, but there's still just like random swords and shit laying in the street. Could be I know something more. Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Karen so must be a nimble old lady if she's uh traveling from the hideaway to here every other day. Like, <laughs> you don't think Nan's the Reaper, dear? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. Every time someone this. tells us to be careful like that, dude, it's just like, bro, for real. All the shit we've done. We really need to be careful. So we need to run around. Okay. Hope you didn't change your mind because you got sucked into reels. No. <laughs> I haven't. Good to know if I did, though, you would have been right up with them. Thank you, Noodle. Mess. <laughs> oh, I love you. Safety of the town is in our hands. Isn't this where we did the crystal thing before? No, okay, it was Time a little bit farther back. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Bruh. <laughs> you really think this is gonna end well for any of you? Like, I know I'm not famous famous or anything. We do our best not to be. But, like, I've been in this town long enough for now. Surely most of you have at least an idea of who I am. Ah, uh, most of them are probably too far away. Ah, uh, we got a couple hits on them. Wait, who's curing? Is it you? No, oh, you're just hired muscle. Who's casting cure? I'm 
you. There he is. I love just watching their bodies fly around in the tornado. Beautiful. I forgot we had Joshua here with us. Well, they tried. <laughs> Do we deal with the uh, traitor now? Done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. Why, though? What do he do? Aren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you, anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. Then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. Ah, good guy, Clive. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! Huh. Well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goose, are you all right? <laughs> He, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. There's now. a chest there. You need not pay for her sins. No. No. I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. Oof. You. You bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. She kicked his ass. Yeah, she kicked his ass. Goots, you... Oh, Goots. If I want to see Karen. Nan, Kick a man's ass. Through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs. 
You remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. Wait, did he take her eye? Ow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was always wondering how she lost an eye. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor goose into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs, too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. <laughs> He'll learn his lesson soon God, enough. Dude. But She's something brutal. tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Clive. Clive. Remind me I don't think she normally says it like that. Clive. <laughs> Fucking weird. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. We gotta go back and talk with her still? I thought it was done, man. Okay. Well, there's nothing else to do here in town. Although... Or no, that's still locked. It's not this way. Why would it be? Maybe there's like a door here that's locked or something. Whatever. We don't need to explore that right now. We can deal with that later. Back to the hideaway then. Because I also don't remember where that hunt was that we need to do. I'm assuming in... S I don't know. Actually, I can't even remember vaguely where it was. And there's the quest we missed, so we might as well grab that. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. Oh, don't blame yourself, Goots. I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Again, it's nice to learn about some of the side characters and stuff, you know, get a little bit of backstory on them and all that bullshit. But Jesus Christ, didn't it take so long? Did you see the pack? Back to tri Chives. <laughs> Back to Clive's chambers.
humble request. Master Clive, I apologize for the sudden untoward gesture. Circumstances have forced me to seek immediate aid, and there is none other than to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with a task not vexing, and I fear I am wholly unable to perform it. Uh, to, whatever, I don't, okay. That's too many words. Chives my clambers. <laughs> Isn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be in Martha's rest? Jesus. It's going all over the damn place, aren't we? Uh, The hunt. That's right. I forget what the hunt was. Go find the damn hunt. I want to say it was in Sam Breck, but it's probably in Dolomil. Or whatever that nation's actually called. The Southern Nation. You see that? Hello, Nectar. I'm still really mad at you for not telling me the secret of the water there, Mr. Nectar, sir, but... Dalmechia, yeah, okay. South of Tabor. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 that's right. It's south of where we're going. I remember now. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Okay, so Think it's just that help? one that's on the road there. To what, Rosaria then? Yep. I should have bought some chives. I have potatoes. And bacon, and sour cream, and cheese. You know, all the normal stuff for some baked potatoes. I don't have no chives. Chives would be good. Ooh, Noodle, we could... Oh, no, I already have dinner planned for tonight. Well, <laughs> whenever we decide to eat more baked potatoes, we could maybe, like, fry up some onions or something for it. That might be good. I've never had fried onions on a uh, baked potato before, but I think it could be good. My lord, Marcus, is that... It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your Lord Uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. Oh, I'm not offended. Merely... Just... It's all right. Jesus, just tell me Continue. what's going on already. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord, uncle. Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. Shouldn't our uncle currently be worried about, like, not grim. being murdered? Since, you know, Before there's the mother crystals apparently armies at his door. The state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller. Is there like a 2x button? Just talk quicker. <laughs> Jesus. Chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven Bruh. high houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword. Yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic. The other, the old imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Jesus Christ, that was long-winded. Okay. So we're searching the world now. That's that's good. <laughs> God forbid it just be a, a short, quick affair.
So we need to come here to kill a thing. I can't remember what it was. A blue blue wyvern? Something along those lines. And it's up there. No closer things? Nope. There were ghosts at the gates not days ago. What ghosts, man? I've been here a few times and I've never once seen ghosts at the gates. I think you're exaggerating a bit. Oh, that's new. Got some defenses put up. I mean, that's probably for the best. Wait, aren't these the yellow flowers? Apocrity said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. I mean, there were some bright yellow spot. flowers just right back there. Here's more. All over the damn place. Guess they're not blue enough. Alright. Let's get this over with. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. I meant to do this one. Fuck, okay. Oh, that was Joshua. I was like, bro, who's got the fucking Kamehameha wave going over there? liver and a talon That's fancy i guess liver. now where are no, these bright out. yellow flowers bright yellow with a heady scent i see yellow seems like a good sign so were they really any different from the ones that were just back there yeah okay these ones are much larger i take it back i see the difference I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Nothing else to do here? Nope. Back to the hideaway again. Hopefully this dish ends up being a little better than the other one, but uh... I don't have high Seems hopes. It is fried is. liver after all. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well. At least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. So what did she cook right up then. the first time? You stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Was it actual so worms? Like... Of yore knew what they were on about. And she doesn't seem to have any clue what, what it was or what it could have been. But she tried making it anyways. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? Satisfied crunching? Is liver supposed to crunch? Maybe it was the herbs? I think he died. So... Not fit for consumption, then. 
What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. I can't, man. <laughs> this game it is a tour de force. A force of Why are we doing even. this? What a was the point of this? Flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Padding? <laughs> I think there's more than enough padding in the game without this shit, man. <laughs> Sit. Might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns. Like a lot of the side quests, at least you get a little bit of backstory on different characters and things. Like this, this was pointless. <laughs> there was no reason for this at all, man. The only thing I learned here was that there's two cooks in this kitchen. Ooh, fancy. So happy I know that now. God damn. Okay, missives are the memories, right? No, it is a letter. Or is it not? I don't know. There's something new here. Let's check it real quick. Okay. Just that thing from Karen. Whatever. Don't care about that. So now back to Doll Mill again. Doll Mill? From the way they were describing this quest, you know, as he was talking for it's 20 minutes. Be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Sounds like we might end up having to globetrot a little bit here on this one. I hope not. I hope we just go here, talk to this guy, and then, you know, it's done. But I don't think we're going to get that lucky. Not even a little bit. What does L1 do? Does L1 ever do anything? Oh, so L1. No, trouble. that was the left button, wasn't it? Hmm. I do not remember what L1 was for. Lock on, of course. I, see your master here. I knew that. You can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> then maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Please, these men are trying to rob me. I'll deal with this. I realize he's got a crystal on his hip. Thank you. Didn't expect you to really see people walking around with them anymore. I mean, I know there is still if one source of crystal, but it's literally only one source of working crystal. You like, draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Oh, you bastard. Get wrecked. They're dead. Ooh, a couple survived. I'm proud of you. Good job. Glad we went out of our way to do that. <laughs> I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well... Then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. 
only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. Do they know? I would know? imagine they are unaware of it. Yeah, exactly. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Why not? Might as well steal from them. They're dead. <laughs> they have no use for it. <laughs> no. Not like we don't do it all the time. Second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh man. Okay. To Northreach then. What? Oh, good. It's close at least. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. I have an idea that he's about 60 yards away. I don't know what's telling me that, but that's that feels right to me. Maybe right there. What happened here? If you're with the others. They've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I'm Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh... Yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pummel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. Uh-huh. All right. Same. I'll take care of them. 100%. Same. Enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. What's the reward for collecting all of the renown in the game? Is it worth it? <laughs> That's the only other reason I can think to do all the side quests. They just couldn't resist, could they? Is to get the renown to get whatever the the reward is. You don't remember, so probably not that great. <laughs> good, 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 good. This one's ours, pretty boy. The last renown is the final. Oh wait, is that is that what you get? Just the last orchestral? Or orchestral? Oh damn, it spins. He spins. Because I really don't care. <laughs> Other than like for the potential of getting the uh, the platinum, which I'm still not positive I want to spend the time to get. I'm tempted to just because this game more or less seems reasonable for the Platinum. I forgot about the chronolith. Yeah, I don't know for sure if I'm actually gonna 
go for the platinum or not, but maybe. I've never tried to get a platinum in my life before besides one of the God of Wars back in the day. I don't remember if it was God of War 3 or one of the one or two HP remasters. But I did try to get that back in the day. Didn't end up doing it though. Because one of the challenges was a real pain in the ass and eventually I was just like, man, it's not worth it. <laughs> Never been much of a uh, trophy hunter to be honest with you. I enjoy completing games, Make but I don't feel the can. need to be ridiculous. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. You have five. I mean, that's four more than I have. I so. I told you to make the veil. <laughs> and stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a bestolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. And to you, good sir. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Are we going to have to go to well, Rosaria as well? His work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. Or is it just the two of them? I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Martha's rest. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Reward for this isn't going to be worth it, man. <laughs> I can't think of a single thing they could give us that's going to make all this shit worth it. Are you still at the top of the stairs? It appears so. Yep, just been, been standing there for a couple days waiting for me to travel the world. Still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders and with it a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. I like the sound of Such quickly. Is your Lord Uncle's quickly wish. sounds good. That's the key word. Mine. God damn, okay. Quest complete. Ooh, a whole thousand gil. Ooh, the breath of light. What's that actually do? Reduces flare breath cooldown time by 2.7 seconds. I don't even remember what the fuck flare breath... Yep. <laughs> flare breath is... Finally, back to Tabor. Okay. Everything's done. We can go here. Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to make it to the hunt, at least tonight. Which means we have to make it through Tabor. Right? Because, yeah, it's south of Tabor. Oh, well, if Tabor's right here... Then I guess it would just be here somewhere? I don't know. Interesting landscape, though. What was that up there? 
Oh, nothing. Okay. Nothing I'm concerned about, at least. I think a good chest is coming up. Those are far and few between. Oh, shit. Okay, Tabor was not right there. <laughs> it's just the first quest marker. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of Yeah, I remember you saying that before. I saw one when I was uh, looking for a hunt earlier and I killed it, thinking maybe the chest would be around there somewhere, but nope. I think we might have found it, though. Unless it's the one up there on the other side. I'm just gonna tank, cause I don't care. Oh shit, I didn't realize this was available again. Oh, damn. <laughs> he died at an inconvenient time. Regal Sash. Okay. So it's something. It's not just hides or useless shit. What the hell is Regal Sash? Regal Sash. Oh, nice. It's actually better than the Drake Slayer's belt we have, too. It's like it's actually an upgrade. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, we'll definitely equip. Very nice. Now, how do we get to that side? Okay, we'd have to go the other way around, I take it. Can we jump down there? No. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, God. Okay, this landscape's going to be confusing. Because <laughs> everything's kind of overlapping each other. There's your one fun fantasy moment. Enjoy. <laughs> the one time you find a piece of equipment that's actually better than what you have. There was one other piece of equipment that I found. I don't remember if it was equipment, though, or an accessory, but did find something that seemed to neat once. One other time in the game, rather. Uh, is it even possible for us to get down there? I guess not. It must just be, like, from here up to there, and it must still be locked. Well, unless we wanted to teleport there and run all the way through here, but fuck that. Not right now. So this was that up here. Still no way down? Nope. Then onward. Yeah, it's like not every piece of equipment you find needs to be necessarily better than what you had before, but... It'd be nice if there was just one every once in a while, you know? Give me some sort of incentive to actually explore this large, beautiful world that you made. Actually, you know what? I take back the large. It's not actually that big, is it? Like, if you actually sit there and look at it, like... You can travel the whole world in a fairly short amount of time if you wanted to. Not every nook and cranny, of course, but... There's just a shit ton of backtracking through it all. You end up exploring each area 
very thoroughly. That's <laughs> that's all. Oh shit, that's right. You don't actually pick things up. No mistakes. That was close. Uh, this is gonna hurt. I don't know if Joshua's abilities are just much more like visible, much more obvious when he uses them, but he seems to actually like do stuff fuck me. Unlike uh, Jill. <laughs> I never noticed Jill like actually doing anything. Every once in a while you'll see a little bit of like mist or a uh, uh a blizzard or something dropping on someone's head. Oh damn it, dude. I'm gonna get hit to that or by that every single fucking time. Wait, there's more? Wait, seriously? <laughs> I angered those things down there? How the hell? Was it the Phoenix thing? Hold on, will this work? No, it just floats above the air. It had to have been the, the Phoenix flame thing that damaged them. Either that or somehow somebody like teleported down there. Will I still get the reward for the fight if I technically run away? Come on, Phoenix Flame Regen. I wanna see if I can hit them down there from, from here. It does, the explosion goes out so far that it damages them. I'll be damned. Well, I can't actually do anything with you, so... Aw, uh, nothing? Oh, wait a second. Did you guys... How did you guys kill them? <laughs> I wasn't able to. Yeah, whatever. Well, thanks, I guess. I mean, I guess I could have if I waited long enough to use my freaking thing. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I have perfect manners, thank you. They were eating on dead chocobos. That's sad. Honestly, so like, 
I was talking to Nectar earlier. I don't know who saw it and who didn't. But Nectar talks about his travels, right, all the time. And at that time, he was talking about his travels to the giant hole. Where all the water's flowing and just flowing forever somehow, never filling up. And he was searching for answers, but instead he just found out he couldn't swim. Which, whatever, haha, <laughs> funny, nectar scoop. But that means the developers of the game specifically knew that, hey, this is a thing <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. And just chose not to answer it. <laughs> Maybe the water titan has something to do with it. Or titan, whatever. <laughs> Icon has something to do with it. And we won't learn about that until the DLC. That's that's my Real only comrades. hope. Because I don't know. Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Oof. Every last one of them. Big suck. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand a chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Well, I don't think you're going to be doing much of anything. Especially now. Oko, you catch your breath. Oh, is he not dead? <laughs> I thought that I thought that was his dying breath. Oh, encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Forgive me. Lord Kuka. I just realized when we get to this well, town. Soldier. Are we going to have to get the pendant again and do side missions again and all that shit? <laughs> is this yet another town we have to befriend? I hope this is just a passing through town, not a, another hub, man. <laughs> we don't need another hub. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Yet yeah, nobody's uh, figured out how to explain the ether floods that are happening all over the place for some unknown reason. Time. Get him. I'm gonna get a, as many of them into this as I can. Oh. Okay, that's a fair few of them. That should take care of the vast majority of them. Not quite all, but damn near. Aw, oh, damn. Too big to pick up. Damn, Torgal, calm down, dude. It's alright. They're dead. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Chest? Yeah. Empty shard, that's money. Money and crafting shit, that's it. Uh, useless? Yep. Where is he? He sounded like he was right there behind these rocks. Ah, I see. Close. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. 
His wounds were too deep. He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. They were You're not safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You're not going to question how we just walked through the ether field, the ether flood, without it affecting us? Like. Because wouldn't it only be dominance and maybe bearers that could walk through you it without. Seem familiar. Hmm. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you so much, love. Son of a whore. You're sent. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. Oops. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Bruh. <laughs> we literally killed Kupka. You know we did. We killed Hugo. Titan. What are you gonna do? I don't... I don't want to fight him. He's like dying. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... Some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Well, we'll see if that comes back to haunt us or not. Uh, nice that we actually had a choice in what we said and did there, though. We haven't had that happen very often in the game. Nothing else of interest around here. Suppose not. That looks like it might be town, though. Antelope? Oh, don't touch the antelope. They get angry if you touch them. Ravine, the Have river at the bottom. Before? There are a few places I haven't. Yeah, it appears to be. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. How big is this town actually? Oh yeah, no. I feel, I feel like it's gonna make us befriend this town. God damn it. Wait, what? How did I go the wrong way? Oh, it's this door right here. I'm just blind to shit. What does touching the crystal do? Does it just open the map? Well, this isn't at all foreboding. What's that mean? The 
crystal look different in some way than it did before? I'll put down your sword. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations. Albeit, yeah, 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 he could. Since There's a lot Joshua could have told us from the beginning, the but, you know. And enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herr Beyond any doubt. I'm assuming that's one of Odin's ships? Yeah, okay. Joshua. The Ein Herr is the Royalist flagship. Hmm. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waludanites who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Figured as much. Speak of uh, ultimate pup, Ultima puppets, like. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Somebody giving birth? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Okay. Distinguished that. members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this... A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> the king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. Yeah, about that. He 
is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Oh. Enough. Can we have his sword? <laughs> but you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The one that cuts through everything, apparently? The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. Why? See that he is made welcome. Why is mid special? Yes, your Majesty. To Ultima. Or no, Come did he say Mythos? Us. Yeah. Okay. 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 He's just trying to draw us out. That makes more sense. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. That makes sense. He's trying to draw us out. It's like, what the fuck would Autumn I want with Mid, of all people? Like, she's a brilliant engineer, but other than that, she doesn't seem special in any way. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. So Joshua did know more than what he was telling us. Good thing he didn't like die on the way here. <sighs> By the flames. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Isn't that Life. figure us, though? May Not... I tell Yote of the lake? Ultima? Uh, by all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. <sighs> Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omielos Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace... Aww. Please be safe. If she cares for him. You, I... you have my word. 
So she's Mikasa, he's Aaron, basically. Like, <laughs> definitely just a just a hint of Attack on Titan in here. Just a small bit, though. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. But wait, if he's Aaron, then, uh, oof. Uh, <laughs> not gonna spoil anything for anyone, but <laughs> you might want to keep an friends. eye on him. Ow. Dude, I don't think that's Ultima. I think that's fucking Clive and Joshua all fused together and shit. She cares for you very deeply. And there it is. Her, New quest. Which is why I... Alrighty. Well, I was gonna look for the hunt and shit, but it's 9.30. I still gotta make dinner. I think that's gonna be <laughs> the end of it for today. Jesus Christ, man. We, we did, what, like three main missions? And that's four. Four main missions and then just fucking side quests, man. Fuck, so many of them. I think the game would have been fine as a 30-hour experience. Didn't need to be 60. That's for sure. Oh, f what is today? Monday? Um, As usual, no promises. But tomorrow or Wednesday, there's a decent chance. One of those two days. I'll play a little bit more. I'm thinking tomorrow night, to be honest. Um, That way I still have Wednesday just like off-off. But... I will let everybody know on Discord whether it's a uh, 16 or a random PS2 game. It might be random PS2 game again just to help break up the Final Fantasy 16 as it starts to drag a little bit. But to be determined, I suppose. As for tonight, guys, that's going to be it. <laughs> I need to make dinner and probably take a nap before game night with the guys. So thank you, guys. I do appreciate you all. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Fuck. Oh, I need to remember to save real quick. I'll do that in a second. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to do that. Uh, the one other thing I do kind of want to do, I hate the NC.